Hey, welcome to another episode of Jay-Z TV. Now we're coming to you from a unique set today here on the, the station floor of KMSU. Now, KMSU is not your typical radio station, so we're gonna take a little time to understand that today. I have Karen and Jim with me. They're gonna tell us a little bit more. Now, Jim, talk a little bit about the mission, the purpose of KMSU, what it's all about. Well, thanks, Jonathan. I appreciate the time. Um, we, we are different than most other radio stations that people might think of in that we kind of have a dual mission of serving underserved populations as well as getting information out to the greater community about Minnesota State University Mankato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we also serve the community in ways that um, I think are impactful in terms of giving away a lot of airtime to nonprofits. Uh, we do that a lot. And uh, Karen's show actually is probably the flagship of, of that on Minnesota Morning. But we also talk to business people on the Business Break program. And, and so it's a, it's a wide variety of things. And then we have volunteers, like almost 60 volunteers from the greater community who come in and they give of their time and talents to fill programming time for the radio station. If I were a volunteer, do I get to come in and run that board? Yes. You do, oh, actually. Boy. That's the cool thing about it. You're, you have 60 different individuals, 60 different ideas, and that's why we're so unique, unique because anytime you tune in, you could hear something different, whether it's reggae, whether it's metal rock, whether it's folk, you name it, we've got it, and that's the cool thing about KMSU and why the community members make it so interesting. Now, it, the call letters are KMSU, so you have an affiliation with the university, right? Oh, you didn't just absolutely. pick those letters. Yeah, we are a university licensee, which means we're different than a non-commercial community licensee in that we are a department within the university. So our function is primarily outreach, but we do have uh, some uh, educational purposes. I teach a class every spring on writing and speaking for broadcast. A couple of my stellar students are here in the studio with us. They need to be on this show so that they become internet sensations. <laughs> and we actually have students, usually about a dozen per semester, who are involved in various things at the station, operational kinds of things, but mainly news production. And by news I mean campus related news. So that's kind of... That's our niche. So if you can hear news anywhere, but if you want to hear things that are happening at Minnesota State, hear what faculty are doing, hear what the, the neat projects that are going on, our students fulfill that role, which is one of the niches we fill that nobody else does. And so do you, some of your students, I assume, they go on to work in radio or well, television? Or? Yes, they do. In fact, a number of them have gone on to be in television in uh, Twin City stations. We have some that have gone on to be local radio personalities. Some go into completely different fields, but it, it's really a, a training ground hands-on experience for the students and that's one thing that we can provide that really you can't get that on-air hands-on experience anywhere else. Now because of your university relationship and your mission the way that you're paid for as well is a little bit different too. I, I think a little bit about like an NPR. I mean there's a fundraising component to absolutely. how you guys bring in revenue. We, uh, we absolutely do. So the, the, the main fundraising things are uh, two times a year we do pledge drives just like every other non-commercial radio station does. We have underwriters, these are local businesses within the area who really like what we do at KMSU, so they're funding that as underwriting support. And then we have uh, several state grants, and of course there's a great deal of university support. I mean, we are housed here, our salaries come through the, the state, so and, we're and very lucky. And you two are the only two employees yeah. Full-time staff at KMSU, the rest right. are 60 volunteers, and we have the students as well. Right. And so we're a, a very tight-run organization. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, that's an awful lot to learn about KMSU for folks, and I think it probably does a really nice job educating folks. So uh, uh, one last question for each of you, right? Short, brief one. What's the fun, interesting things that uh, folks watching this today might not know about each of you that sort of leaves them thinking about that? One thing. Uh, okay, well, I have a sickness for golf. I think it's, <laughs> a I think, sickness. I think it's my, uh, it's my Scottish heritage. I can't help it. What kind of handicap? Oh, it's terrible. Yeah, I'm like a right. 20. Don't admit yeah. it. Don't yeah. talk yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I'm a dairy farmer. Farm. Really? My background is, and I hold the record from the milking contest at the Blue Earth County Fair many years ago when I used to be on TV on KYC TV as an anchor and reporter. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. It, to both of you, thanks for taking some time today. Thanks for sharing the story of KMSU. Thank you. And thank to all you. of you, yep, thank you. And to all of you, thanks for watching another episode of Jay Z TV. Have a spectacular week.